Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this finally Friday, June 2nd, 2023. It's about 10.15 a.m. here along the West Coast. Latest earthquake shows uh, some movement here into the Kuril Kamachaka Trench with a 4.4 coming in at about 97 kilometers deep here. It's been awfully quiet here. Occasionally we get these smaller, moderate, small to moderate quakes here, uh, but we're looking for definitely something major to kick up here this is a major accumulator of slip rate and uh, as you can see on the map it is enhanced by the Pacific plate this is going to be the boundary right here of the Kuril Kamchaka and the Japan Trench backed up by the Pacific plate heading off to the northwest uh, got the subduction zone interface here with the North American plate in the brown and that being backed up by the Eurasia plate so this is a major accumulator of some big time stress and also big time earthquakes that uh, it's been awfully quiet here for a little while so watching that region with a 4.4 coming in also northern california well i should say nevada northwest of reno nevada still rocking out here uh just on the eastern crest of the sierra nevada uh, on the nevada side of the state line the latest quake shows a 1.2 this is a little sequence of earthquakes uh coming up on about 23 earthquakes so far in the last 24 hours they did have a 4.0 uh, rock in this area yesterday a couple prior prior quakes to that as well uh, so far i've seen a 3.1 for an aftershock and uh, many other smaller quakes there in the mix of earthquake activity outside reno and uh, i do know this area can get some earthquakes uh, so let's pull up the um catalog here i kind of want to see what we have up here for 4.5 and above and we're just going to do a little search through history and see what we have i'm going to draw a little why does it have to be a rectangle if i wanted to draw a triangle that's right rectangle will work that's going to be this area right about here we're just going to cover this entire area around reno and see what we have out here uh, historically four point five and above since uh, records have been kept well doesn't look like we've seen any um, specifically around this area that we're looking at today and by the way let me pull up that map again of the Reno area um, just to the northwest here south of 395 it's gonna be this area right about here Further south, maybe a good five miles or so, we got some activity uh, historically with a 5.3 back in 1953, 5.1 back in uh, 2008, and also a smaller quake there uh, in 2008 as well. Now, the biggest one, at least around this area, was a 6.4, almost directly underneath the Reno area. Uh, that would definitely do some, uh, a little bit of havoc over there today. This was back in 1914 before all these, uh, you know, major um, casinos and whatnot were built. But uh, also a 6.0 back in um, 1914 as well. Two six-pointers uh, roughly within, let's see, that's going to be six-pointer, 6.4. Is it underneath there? Hold on a second here. Is it just two earthquakes? Kind of odd. I see, I see two up here on the map from two different dates, but uh, literally they must be right on top of each other because I can't see any difference here in the location. I'm only seeing. Uh, that's a little odd. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, confusion on the date. Either way, it looks like there was some large earthquake activity out here around the Reno, Nevada area throughout time, over 100 years now. Today, I'm watching a little swarm of activity out here, so we'll continue to keep an eye on this. It does seem as though there's been increasing activity up here outside the Sierra Nevada mountains here over the past couple months. We've had earthquake activity of 5. Point, uh, what was that? 5.4? 5.7? I can't remember exactly. 5.5, I think. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There we go. A little bit better. Let me see here what that earthquake was up here around the uh, lake. 5.5 back in uh, early May. 
So an overall pattern, if we were to go all magnitudes here, we could see the amount of earthquake activity up here at Lake Almanor. Um, and now getting some movement up here around Reno. There's been little swarms here and there uh, north of the Lake Tahoe area. You can pretty much draw a line here across the Sierra Nevada where all the stress is building up. Looks like that's scooting up here around Reno. We really haven't seen anything spectacular around the Reno area, but again, remember 1914 and uh, throughout time, there's definitely been some uh, larger quakes there across the Reno area. So just a heads up with this increasing activity out your way. All right, the rest of the uh, country here. Looks like, uh, let's stay in California for a second. See if we got anything noteworthy aside from the movement up north to chat about. I'm not seeing any major swarm um, activity. One earthquake this morning in their bodfish. 2.7, 4.3 kilometers deep. That's just um, here in the mountains north of the Garlock Fault shear zone. Some other smaller microquake activity out here in Southern Cal. Uh, up into the Yellowstone area. Got uh, mostly smaller microquakes, but I do want to give a quick glance here and see what we have. Some of that activity kicking up last night. Uh, just a little spitter spatter event. Had about three earthquakes uh, show up all at once. Very small ones, and it looks like maybe one in the last hour as well. Again, nothing big going on, just some uh, small microquake activity with the largest appearing to be a uh, 2.1 from yesterday. That activity overnight was in the one range. There's those three earthquakes that I was talking about. 1.5, 1.5, 1.4 showing up right here on the map. All right, uh, let's back out of here. See where we're going. I got to make this just a real quick update. Um, notice this line of activity out here. You guys see that? From about Montana down through the Colorado, uh, the Rocky area, the Rockies all getting hit in the linear fashion out here across this area uh, and I think that does play a part on what's going out here along the uh, plate boundary not only the plate boundary but also up against the uh, North American Craton here which is a relatively stable land mass it has been for millions of years with uh, deformation and whatnot going on around it looks fairly active there um, throughout Oklahoma and Texas, a little bit of movement and one earthquake out in New Madrid seismic zone from early this morning, a 1.6. Let's see if we got anything major going on out here across the area. Checking, checking the big island of Hawaii out. This area on my hot spot radar as far as volcanic activity. Uh, 22 earthquakes so far. Let's check out the latest informational statement here from the USGS in regards to Kilauea and it doesn't look like they put anything out yet. We'll have to come back and check on that. Yesterday's update consisted of the same thing where it's not erupting and no uh, lava has been observed. Quick glance here at the seismograph stations across the Kilauea volcano area. Still shows some movement. Um, goodness, I don't know why it does that every single time I click on it. Uh, although, uh, eh, it's still fairly active. Nothing big, though. Our last somewhat larger one there at the uh, Kilauea Volcano, not really large, was a few hours ago. I believe that was a three-pointer, at least close to it, 2.9. Um, was that from yesterday? Possibly from yesterday. Uh, 14.19. So 14.19 is... Yeah, 14.19 would be kind of down here, wouldn't it? Uh, either way, it looks like a little bit less activity there at the Kilauea Volcano today, but still keeping an eye on it. Movement across the Indonesia area, Vanuatu area, all starting to back build over here. Getting a pretty good amount of earthquake activity, and as listed on the globe, you can see a uh, latest one, 3.1, coming into the area. This is all fairly recent earthquake activity here this morning and uh, within the past couple, couple hours. So things are uh, picking up. Also, back building here across the Loyalty Islands area once again, and a couple threes down into the New Zealand area. Nothing major going on there yet. Uh, pretty deep earthquake into the Tonga Trench right here. That earthquake coming in 535 kilometers deep for a 4.6. And some movement up here, of course, is noted on the globe. 
Uh, the rest of the world there, some minor activity uh, across Turkey, getting some aftershocks in uh, the Mediterranean Sea area. Seen some threes, even a 4.1 earlier this morning. 5.4 down into the South Sandwich Trench. Here we go. Seems to be a cycle of earthquakes across this area. Uh, we'll watch for some further movement upstream once again here into the South America region. Looks like uh, some fours and threes coming in uh, to the area here in the last couple hours already. Uh, Puerto Rico region, getting the squeeze going on out here across the Puerto Rico Trench. Mostly smaller microquakes, though, for now. Uh, space weather activity, minimal. Uh, we're still holding steady, though, in the sea flare category. 99% chance for a sea flare, M flare at 45, X flare around 15. 15% chance for proton event. Uh, let's look at the sunspot regions here. Magnetic structure of 3323 is one worth watching for sure. Um, the rest of these little sunspots do not really har harbor any potential for some large flaring. Uh, but we'll continue to watch this area, even though it's behaved here, uh, since it's made itself visible here on the visible disk. We'll continue to watch that with that complex structure. Out in the northeastern limb, we've got some further sun, uh, sun flare activity as well. Sunspot activity. We'll continue to watch that. All right, folks. Um, have yourself a good day. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Uh, with the Friday night update. Might even jump in in between there. We'll see. Got a kind of a busy morning going on. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. Have a good one. Take care and stay safe out here on this Friday.